Welcome back. This Black History Month, a local Wisconsin woman is sharing her story of breaking barriers in the military. Marsha Anderson made history during her career in the Army, and while it was not always easy, her persistence to make a way for women helped pave the way for others to follow in her footsteps. Arvelina Jones brings us her story. When I was in kindergarten, I was, uh, they said I was slow. So they held me back from first grade. From a very young age, Marsha Anderson did not like being told no. That made me determined to prove those people that they were wrong. Anderson not only passed kindergarten, but went on to excel and break barriers in her career in the military. A message in persistence she uses to encourage these Baraboo High School students and their generation. It's important to have good relationships with people because that's how you get things done. Think about where I started back when I was uh, born in Beloit and grew up in East St. Louis, Illinois, and none of those things were really, didn't, they didn't really seem possible for somebody like me at the time. She got into the Army by accident, signing up for the ROTC for college science credit. It's probably the best mistake I ever made. Her success was intentional, made with daily victories over a three-decade career, many times as the only black woman in the room. I felt sometimes like an army of one in a lot of places where I, I worked, and there was no playbook for this. Inspired by the Tuskegee Airmen and others like them. Those people were examples of me of uh, persistence. With every obstacle, she made her own rule book to make room for others who looked like her. I realized that I was a role model, whether I had intended to be one or not. And then that made, that gave me an obligation, I felt, to go as high as I possibly could go. Reaching new heights in 2011, the once shy, minimally athletic girl from Beloit became the first African-American woman major general in the Army. They weren't paying attention to the fact that I was a woman. They weren't paying attention to the color of my skin. They were really interested in my take on this particular issue. And that didn't always happen, but I could feel it when it did. And that made me really happy that I had been persistent and that the people before me had been persistent. A diversity years ago that didn't exist, but one she says is necessary. Not only did I belong there, but I brought something special to the table. You can make some changes to organizations from the outside, but you really need to be in the room. You need to be at the table. Now retired, Anderson spends her time encouraging others to never take no for an answer. You can really do anything you want to do, even if you're a little girl from Beloit, Wisconsin, who flunked kindergarten. Boy, what a trailblazer. Anderson retired from the Army last year. Since her promotion, two other women were promoted to three-star generals. And the Navy also welcomed its first four-star African-American admiral. And she is now living back in the Madison area full-time and is continuing her work as clerk of courts for the United States Court for the Western District of Wisconsin.